Hey homies, welcome back to another episode of Home with J. Roche. Today, I'm going to transform my home, my shabby chic home, over into a swanky, with a little bit of glitz and glam, 35th birthday dinner. So stay tuned, I'm going to take you from beginning to end. Today, I'm here with two of my friends, Ivory from Norpreneur and Shantae, or Tay, from Events by Center Stage. These two ladies are going to help me do this whole transformation of my house from, like I said, shabby chic into this little glitzy glam 35th dinner party. So I just want to start by giving a little brief, I don't want to say like introduction to make it sound boring, but an intro as to who they are and how I met both of them. Ivory and I met like 11, maybe like 10 years ago, I think. I almost. think I remember that. Yeah. 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 Like 10 yeah. years ago. Ivory was the only person in the city that had these throne chairs. Um, and I needed them for a baby shower. And her and her team, her, or some guys, her, her, they pulled up and <laughs> delivered this big behind heavy throne yeah, chair. Yes. Um, Ivory is Norpreneur. She's also AI activist. She oh. does. She runs Balloon University. She's like a balloon god. Um, and you're going to see some of her work today on the show. Shantae is... Events by Center Stage, Shantae Michelle, uh, <laughs> photography. She has a dance school. I may be missing something, but it's a lot. <laughs> but long story short, I met these ladies with doing events. But at first, it started out, of course, naturally a business relationship. But they turned into my actual friends. Now that it's like we talk about stuff outside of events. And we, Irene and I DM all day about goofy funny Please stuff she's yeah. people probably think she's so serious and she is not <laughs> at all like she is like drop dance break twerk whatever like you know so we have a good time tay keep me on my toes she's sharp yeah she the little the mini boss over here <laughs> so i just want them to talk a little bit um about you know their i have a few questions for them basically why do they like doing what they do and the pros and cons to doing at home events since today we're going to transform my house into an event space so ivory would you start telling me why you like or what you don't like about doing <laughs> about doing home events um i think the the downside of a home event is people's personal space so it's their home of course so they feel more comfortable and they are not used to not hosting when they have people in their home for me personally, I like to be left alone. I like peace and quiet. I like to be in my zone. And sometimes when you're in a zone, you come off as standoffish. And you're in somebody's home, so you can't come off standoffish in their home. But when you're in your event um, space mentality, you just want to get the job done and you want it to be beautiful. And it's hard to have somebody there like, oh, how long you been doing this? And, you know, all of those mm -hmm. questions. And you want to be nice, but you can't host them inside of their home while you're trying to do a job. So right. that's one of the downsides to doing an event in someone else's home. Do you have any pros? Um, the idea of no time constraint. I hate rushing. So when you have all the time in the world, because it's their home, you can come in early, you can take your time to set up, you can kind of step back, take photos, critique yourself. So I think the, the main thing I like about it is you can take your time and create in the space. And like I said, be in your zone. Okay. I, I mean, I have to agree to, to some extent. I was like, she um, summed it up. But. Yeah, I think so. But um, I think for me, um, I guess if I had to do a home event, um, I would prefer to be in a clean environment. If it's a home event, I would prefer for it to be brand new studio space. They've never really moved in just yet. Um, kind of yep. welcoming kind of space. Um, just clean lines. I like to go in and transform, you know, a space. So um, my preference is really not to do home events, but I guess some of the pros could be, like Ivy said, um, there's no time restraints. You know, you can come in any day, any time to set up, you know, for a client. Um, and so they feel at home, so you can have a lot more flexibility <laughs> so um, too. So I think it's some pros and cons to it, but my preference is it's enough. <laughs> okay. Now... I pre I prefer home events because I like things just a little more small and quaint. 
when we start getting into the 50 and the 75 and all that, I don't feel like all that. Not not anymore, not at this stage of the game. Right. I just want to do my little small dinner parties, come in, set up, won't, won't, won't put my music on. And like Ivory said, you know, when you're in someone's home, you do have to kind of host them and talk to them. But for those of you out there that don't know me, what gets me going is music. So I need to be able to like put my headphones in and that's my thing. Some people there will get some going is having their teammate there or their lover there or their assistant or something drives them. But for me, I need my music. I need it on blast. Let me put my ear pods in and just run. What gets you going? Um, I think I like just being with my team, you know, having my team come in and completely transform a space. Um, I, we're comfortable with each other. We know how we kind of flow. Um, and I enjoy doing events with other event planners as well. A lot of people don't get the chance to do that, but for a lot of the events that I do, I get to work with y'all for a lot of events and a lot of people who are in the industry who I'm close with. Mm -hmm. So I really, I thoroughly enjoy that, which is different from when I first started years ago. I didn't get to have that luxury, but now um, I kind of value that part. I like yeah, for us to be fun. able to, yeah. it makes yeah. it fun. Um, it brings a different energy, you know, to setting up the event and a different like creativity as well because we all do things a little bit different. We'll um, see so some of that today. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> to kind of see that come together. Okay. You know? We'll get you going. Um, peace. Uh, <laughs> like Quiet. Peace is precious. Um, opposite of what Tay said, um, having a team when you're doing a big event, you need it. It's not an option. But when you're doing smaller events, if I get the option to work alone, I fully take advantage of it. That's the idea of... Um, just taking my time and I don't have to like instruct or even when everybody else yes. knows what they're doing, when you're the lead, everybody's <laughs> going to refer to you for something. So the, the peace is precious. So that's what keeps me going. Okay. So yeah, um, Tay kind of touched base on that um, with building relationships. Like I said, I met them both with doing events, but we've now formed a friendship outside of doing events. But it is fun when you know you have, like, it's important almost to me now that I know, like, if we got an event, I'd be like, I would be like, all right, don't worry. Like, I'm going to get over there. Mm -hmm. I could, like, I literally had a brunch, and she was at the space setting up, and I needed something that was in West Philly. She left uptown, drove back, and then came back to me. So it's like having those people that understand, like, what you're going through. The urgency. You know, the urgency, yeah. like, when you're in the yeah. event. Like, Tay, I could call her at 3 a.m. because she's a night owl. And I'll be like, uh, I, I need um, to have uh, some menu cards done. I need, like, today I was like, vinyls. I need this. I need that. And they'll be like, all right. So she could work, and you know, in the middle of the night. It's not like when you're going to a normal vendor and, you, need you, you, need, you know, you need weeks and weeks in advance. Yeah. When you have friends and we all do something different, we all bring something different to the table. So I hope you guys are ready to go along this ride with us as we transform our house because it's going to go pretty fast. And stay tuned. Mm -hmm.